What's up guys, Molly Reaver here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Happy New Year, and just like a bunch of other people out there, I'm sure, we decided to play a new free-to-play account. Uh, as you can see, we are officially one week in, and it is Ronda Day. Uh, the first few days of a new account aren't really all that exciting. I'm sure you've seen the tutorial several times. So I decided to skip all that and get to at least some... Till we're a bit established in the account. So we'll take a look around in the account, see where we're at. Uh, we'll do some progress videos as we go throughout the next couple of months. And then, of course, we need to decide what to do with my other free-to-play account. So we'll let you guys decide on that. Uh, and we'll take a look at that after we go around in this account. So first things first, let's get ourselves a Rhonda. She, of course, is going to be immediately useful. And then we've got... Uh, Jiro coming up as our second free chant. Uh, we are day seven. It is about to hit reset, so we'll be eight day eight here fairly soon. So let's collect our ancient shard. Uh, so as far as where we're at, let's get rid of some red dots. We have been pushing heavily on the Arbiter missions, as you can see here. So a week in, and we're already 135 missions in. Uh, I got to hit some void, uh, some void keep. And then we got to work on our Great Hall and things like that. Uh, so we've been pushing that pretty heavily. There's our red dot that we like to see. It's actually the first legendary on the account. We've pulled a few shards but have not pulled anything good. We will get to that in a second. Clan boss rewards. We are one keying easy. We pretty much keep every piece of gear that comes out of this. Okay, so as far as champs go, so like I said, I haven't pulled any legendaries or even really any good epics. I did pull one epic so far, and it is a Bushi. Where is he? There he is. Uh, so he's not going to get used. He's going to end up being a chicken. Uh, from our login events, or I'm sorry, our login uh, rewards. So I actually used a referral account and got Light Sworn on day one. Uh, and then I used the promo code for free Mordecai. Uh, one thing I did realize after the fact is after I started this account, the second day is when the um, promo code for Deacon came out. And apparently, I don't know if it's a change or if we just didn't notice it before, but the new player promo codes, you only get one. So I used Mordecai, and it wouldn't allow me to then redeem Deacon uh, or any other of the new account promo codes. It literally said, you've already redeemed this type of code before, and it wouldn't give me any more. So for future reference, you only get one. Pick the one you want. Uh, from a Void Shard, I did end up getting a Bellower, which is pretty nice. Uh, he is pretty useful. Uh, my Kale here, we are using just the basic Lifesteal gear that he comes with. It is excellent gear. Uh, and then we've got some Speed Set on him. Uh, so total stats, he's looking 172 speed. It's pretty quick for being a week in. Uh, crit capped-ish, I think he needs 85% to be actually crit capped for his A2. Um barely any crit damage. Obviously we don't have any accuracy yet. Uh, just kind of some attack stats. Uh, we have him booked enough. So we've got that. Um, the poisons we can work on as we go. I was switching gears in order to get Bellower and War Maiden booked out. Uh, we've got some masteries on him. Still working on those. Those are part of the Arbiter missions as well. Uh, in order to get like tier 2 Mission or tier two masteries as well as a tier three mastery uh, unlocked. Those are all arbiter missions, so I've just been pushing those as we get to them. Uh, War Maiden is my other fairly geared champ. She is just faster than Kale, so we can put the decreased defense up and then hit or uh, let Kale nuke everybody. Other than that, enough accuracy to land where we are. Uh, obviously, a hundred accuracy isn't all that much, but at one week in and fighting normal or hard or uh, brutal campaign it is plenty she's got a couple of masteries on her as well uh, and then like i said bellower is our other semi-geared champ he's pretty slow he's got a little bit of accuracy as well it's just kind of what extra gear we have you can see it's um, actually some perception gear that i've pulled out of the forge and that's about it everybody else just kind of has some garbage gear on and of course we need to gear ronda uh, so this is the account as it stands so far. We're going to continue to push. 
Uh, again, we get rid of the challenges, keep pushing on with the Arbiter missions. I did unlock the gem mine, but that was a misclick. Um, so just keep pushing this. Eventually we'll get this sacred here, and we'll keep going. Uh, so this is the overview of this account. You can see Mullet Freever. Um, that's level 36 already. We'll keep moving this along. Uh, so let's go take a look at my other account, and we can decide what we want to do with that. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are on my second account. Uh, this is free to play. It is what I call my very lazy free to play because I have had it for quite a while. I've never spent a dime on it. Um, however, it does need progress in certain areas. Uh, it is actually pretty stacked though. So first things first, we're level 75. Um, we have a bit of a great haul there. We are working on the third level 10. Uh, that would be for our Romantu missions, because we do have Arbiter, we have completed that. So like I said, we're working on the, the three Great Hall bonuses to level 10. Um, as far as daily login, we are onto the Eryx. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had this account. I mainly just do dailies and move on. Um, we don't have a ton of gear in the forge however we have beaten all of the normal doom towers uh, i've just started actually testing out the hard doom towers so there's progress there to be made um, as far as lydia goes we are far from lydia so lots of progress to be done here in faction wars uh, arena, I'm actually right now in Arena or in Gold 4, which is a mistake on my part. Uh, it's because I removed my defense and then stopped paying attention, so I dropped. Um, this is actually a fairly easy Gold 5 account. Uh, clan boss, I am actually 4 keying Ultra Nightmare with this account right here. I don't have any unkillable champs with the team yet, so we are using an ally protection champ or ally protection team with. Um, Jared works fairly well gets about 20 mil per key so actually with gear we could probably re-gear the champs and get it up to a three key just simply based on gear I built it a while ago and I have done some more farming recently uh, as far as dungeons go I believe we're 25 on most dungeons actually I guess we haven't even tried it on dragon uh, Ice Golem, I think I needed it for uh, the Ramontu mission. Spider actually built the team. It's pretty easy. I pulled a, a Crypt King Grawl a while ago, so we got an easy 25 team. Fire Knight I've been pushing recently. However, we haven't tried to get past stage 20. Sand Devil I haven't even tried, so don't worry about that. Uh, Iron Twins, I have a consistent stage 12 team. Uh, so all that being said, let's look at the important part, which is our champs. Like I said, this is pretty stacked for what it is, um, so let's take a look. So I do, of course, have a Kaimar. Uh, we got a Draco. There's our Arbiter. Uh, I have a Hegemon and a Santa Claus, um, which is a step towards an unkillable team. Um, I do have a Skull Crusher, so you could kind of try to worth that, but I would prefer waiting for a, a Warcaster or a Maneater, Demitha, anything like that before trying to create uh, an unkillable team. Of course we do have Ultimate Death Knight and Rhonda and all of our login champs like Ninja. Uh, we did pull a Duchess, we've got a Rhodos. I actually have two Lissandras, I've got a couple of Geomancers. Uh, who else we got? We got Cupidus. We also have Venus in here somewhere too. There's Venus, so we do have the the Valentine's pair. Uh, actually, just pulled a Hefract on the account, so that is probably our best arena nuker that we have at the moment. I got a couple of Cold Hearts built. Uh, Apothecary, of course, Stagnite, Deacon. Um, we do have some options for Poison Explosion because I do also have an Eleanoral. Uh, we got Yakarl from the Clan Shop. I did do the Gizhnak uh, Fusion event, so we pulled him. We got an Elder Scar. Uh, do we have anybody in the vault here? I do have a Wither. We don't really care about him. I actually just got a Foley here recently. Uh, Madam Saris that I haven't actually used much of. 
Uh, we do have Archmage Helmet from Doom Tower. So like I said, we pretty stacked account as far as champs go. Uh, a lot of potential. All of the areas that, like I said, there is work to be done. They do have the champs to do it. It's just a matter of pushing, putting in the effort, which is again why I've been calling it my lazy free-to-play. Uh, so yeah, that's status on this account. So the reason why I'm bringing up this account is because we need to figure out what to do with it. Uh, I don't want to run three accounts, really. And if I'm running the new free-to-play, we have to figure out something to do with this. So here's what I was thinking. I currently have 758 subscribers on YouTube. If we can hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll give this account away. I'll keep farming it until that day happens. We do have some shards ready. Uh, but if we can hit 1,000 subscribers, I will give this away. Pretty stacked ninja account. I think that's pretty good incentive. So let me go know what you guys think. Uh, do you want me to give this account away? Would you rather see me progress on the account in those areas that I was talking about? Uh, what do you guys think? Um, are you interested in the free-to-play account, the new free-to-play account, things like that? Give me some comments. Let me know. Uh, other than that, we will catch you guys in the next one. Later.